good morning all today's topic on account receipt process or on account receipt creation process in fusion receivables first question what is on account receipt when we receive the money from the customer as advance like a fixed deposit to provide goods and services to customers like a dealers distributor example tvs company would like to sell the okay tvs bikes to the customers tvs company may not sell the direct product to customers they will identify first dealers distributors across the india and a tvs company will give the some instruction to them the tvs company will take the advance from the customer for dealers distributors like uh, we can call fixed deposit or we can call okay long term deposit when we receive the like uh, on account received which we cannot apply to any invoices immediately if customer requested i need on account received or i need money back <clears throat> you can make the refund to them by refund process or available on account receipt amount you can apply to you can apply to okay available open invoices as well if if you want to apply on account receipt status to customer open invoices you can query the on account receipt status receipts change the status to unapplied then unapplied to you can make it applied in invoices to reduce customer outstanding so we required basic setups create a customer like a master data then define the receipt class method internal bank account assignment under internal bank account you can assign the gl accounts like confirmed cash remitted cash on account received cash unapplied unidentified received accounts you can assign as a main data okay let me show the functionality login with the user go to receivables applications go to accounts receivable go to select their okay bu name anjani go here create receipt when you open this page we have two types of receipts we can always choose the standard receipt to create unapplied receipt on account receipts unidentified receipt applied receipt then select the your target bu okay then choose the receipt method which you defined under bu level enter receipt number as a check number or you can give the your own number enter file like inr your receipt date today's date your accounting date today's date then your remittance bank is defaulting because receipt method level you assign the your internal bank account that account will be default here which will allow to remitted in the future then select the jaitra 
as a customer name. You can see the account number as a queue. Choose the site. If customer having the bank account, you can choose from the drop down list. This will default from customer site. That make it uh, submit apply manually. When you click submit apply manually, it shows unapplied amount only initially. That go to actions, go to more. Click the create on account application. When you click the create on account application, it will uh, shows the how much amount you are considering as a deposit and date as well. Then your okay receipt status will become on account receipt. Earlier it is showing the unapplied. Now it is uh, okay showing as a on account receipt. Then you can do the view. You can do the account in draft or post to ledger view account. Let me try post to ledger. Then your receipt status is first conformal status. Right can see the GL account related information or we can call journal accounts which is impacted in the application level. As I mentioned in the sheet, conformed cash debit, what comes in on account cash credit. So both accounts controlled by your receipt class method internal bank account level. So you can see the receipt created confirmed cash, cash on, okay, cash on account. So this entry will go to GL because we choose in the post to GL general batch name you can query in the GL general entry name you can query in the manage general page level. Once you created accounting you realized there is a wrong account combination appear then you can override account here as a new functionality in the future. Okay, right. Then save and close. Right. Save and close. Then next, do the receipt remittance. Choose the your engine business unit. Choose the your defined receipt class method. Your uh, remittance bank means internal bank account, means our client bank account. Then go here. You can query the receipt number. Then save it. Upload. So that receipt will become remitted status. Then initiate the create accounting program to create accounting for remitted status. Then, okay. In future, client like to client like to know how many receipts are there like unapplied receipt or on account receipts 
if there is no standard report available, you can develop the report with the OTBI to verify, to review the how many unapplied receipts, on account receipts at BU level. Next. How to convert on account receipt to unapplied. Query the receipt, go to manage receipts. Go to edit. Then go to action, make it unapply. Save and close. So that Receipt is back to unapplied status. Then do the post to ledger entry on account receipt debit. Earlier it is credit unapplied cash credit. Then if you apply unapplied receipt to in a wise outstanding unapplied cash debit your customer receivables credit so then you can once it is unapplied go to add open a receivable if you are if you know the receipt invoice number you can query or go to search engine if there are any invoices, you can apply those invoices to receipts. Then your receipts will become applied status. So total applied amount will update. So sometimes client may ask us how to refund on unapplied receipt to customer. Then we have the another process. Same receipt go to action. Go to more, do the issue refund us. That we will discuss separate uh, video, how to process customer receives uh, refund process. Because we required uh, some mandatory setups required. So that we will discuss in the next video. Okay, right. Then how to verify journal entries in the GL. Go to home page. Go to general accounting. Go to journals. Check their primary ledger name. Go to manage journal. Okay. You can search the Receivables. You can see the journal entry here. That five lakh amount journal entry will be displayed here. Let me check it. September month. Right. So it is uh, now it is showing unposted because I did not open the period in the GL. So, let me open September month. So, then you can post the all entries in the September month. Then run the trial balance report. Run the trial balance report. Run the trial balance report. Check the on account receipt balance.
Okay, right. So, thanks for watching the video. Thanks for your time.